In the previous video looking at methods, I discussed the fact that we can transfer an argument to a parameter either by value or by reference. So in this video, I just want to take a little closer look at that, what the implications are of the differences between the two. Let's look at db.net first. I have a simple application here, just a list box and a button. And I've got two variables, x and y. x is the value of 15. And then I'm going to pass the value of x, or 15, to a function called doubleIt. And that function is receiving x into an integer variable called z. And it's receiving it by value. And what happens in that case is the value that's in the memory location set aside by x is copied to the memory location that's set aside when z is declared. And so we can double the value of z, so 15 times 2 is 30. And then the next statement, we're going to return z, so we take that value of 30, and that's going to replace the double it x in the statement y equals double it x, and y then takes on a value of 30. And then we're going to clear the list box, and we're going to display the values of x and y in the list box. You see we get 15 and 30. Let's look at what happens when we pass it by reference. The only thing I've changed here is the keyword in the parameter declaration of my function. I changed it from by val to by ref. I'm going to pass x to the function, but now I'm passing it by reference. And here's the difference. Rather than passing it the value that's in memory, what I'm doing is I'm linking x and z to share the same location in memory. z becomes what some might refer to as a pointer. And so z and x are linked together. z takes on a value of 15 because that's the value of x. But if I modify the value of z, z times 2 becomes 30, but so does x times 2 because they're sharing the same space in memory. So my value of x is now changed in the calling statement. x is now 30. And then I return the value of z. That goes into double it x. And so y now equals 30. I'm clearing the list box. And I'm printing the values of x and y in this case. And now x is 30, where before it was 15. So that's the difference between passing values and passing references. Let's take a look at it in C Sharp. So here in C Sharp, just as we had before, I've got integers of x and y. x is 15. I'm passing x and double it to my function called double it. It's going to return an integer value. It's getting the value of x into z. And so the value that's in location x in memory is copied to location z. When I double z, I then return z, and y becomes 30. And I clear the list box and print out the values of x and y, and x is 15, y is 30. The only thing I'm going to change to, to transfer it by reference is I'm going to add the word ref both when I'm passing it, so as my argument, so I put ref in front of the argument, and I also put ref in front of the variable declaration as far as the parameter. And now when I pass x to z, I'm not passing the value, I'm passing the location of memory so that x and z share that same location. And when I double z, I'm doubling x. If I return z, 15 times 2 is 30, y becomes 30, I'm clearing the list box, but I'm printing out the values of x and y, and they are now both 30. The common way that passing values by reference is used is in getting input. And so what I have here is a simple little uh, C-sharp application. I think there's a button called get user name. The name of the button is btn get name. And it has a string variable called user, which is set to null. And I'm going to call a voided function, or in essence a subprocedure, um, that it's going to pass the value of user by reference. So it comes down here to private void get name. We're going to receive user into my name as a string. And then I'm going to use the input box from uh, Visual Basic. So I've created a reference to that. 
and it's going to bring up a dialog box and say, what is your name? And then the user is going to enter their name. It's going to go into my name, which in essence is going to go into user because they're sharing the same location in memory. And then in the message box, I'm going to display the value of user. So let's watch this run. So there's my, my input box. Put in my name. Click OK. And my message box that comes up says, Welcome, Stephen.